again from the top. Take two. Watching it now, it's like a, it's like a completely different person. And that's because it is a completely different person. You see, I was being Manson for a time, and now I'm not Manson anymore. My mother jumps off the second wall of war, which is the rupture ducks and little pins on the floor of the nutboard, and all the people have gone crazy. And I'll tell you this, my mother was all man I ever met in prison, creepy carcasses and others. So it's, so it's like, um, it's weird for me to watch because it's like I'm, uh, I'm seeing myself in trauma. I don't think you people want to know what I know because it's not very nice. Because the people who run your lives are not very nice. The people who govern you, they're not good people. So in terms of my own persona, the phenomenology of, of becoming Manson was about searching deep inside myself for that fury of the world and letting it seep out through the words I had to speak. It's been documented that your mother was a prostitute. Your mother's a prostitute. <laughs> All mothers prostitutes. So your father must have been a client. You must have no idea who your biological father oh, is. Oh, I know exactly who my father is. Maybe better than you know who your father is. My father is the jailhouse. My father is your system. I was always conscious that I was too big for Manson. Too tall at that moment. And at that moment, too fat too. And I still am. Um, but when you see the footage, it's like I'm inhabiting a small man. So a lot of my body looks superfluous and just hangs there. Are you aware that today is the anniversary of Sharon Tate's murder? Whether I'm aware of that or not is neither here nor there. What this is really about is what you're implying by that their question, which is that I might know something other than what's taught to me by staring at a blank wall like this. Because that is what I have done for most of my life. Stare at a blank wall like this. Hmm?